First person movement. With so many tutorials out there, it can be hard to find the perfect one. There's always something you wish you could just change or add. If this reminds you of anyone, you've come to the right place. Because today I'll be showing you guys how to make a solid and highly customizable first person movement system in under 5 minutes. With that being said, let's get started. So we just loaded to our scene and as you can see I set a few things up. First of all I have some obstacles for the player to mess around with and of course the ground and the player. So for the obstacles I just created some new 3D objects and resized some cubes. For the player I created a 3D object for the player which I chose Capsule and I renamed it Bean. Obviously the name doesn't matter. Inside the actual player we only have one component that we added which is the character controller. For the character controller, you don't really have to mess around with settings, but if you want to mess around with one of the settings, slope limit is the one that's most important. So that's pretty much all the components other than the script. But before we get onto the script, I'll talk about the other things that are inside the player, like our camera. So we want to drag and drop the main camera from our scene into the player so that it follows around the player while he moves, and also make sure to reposition the camera to the top of the player's head. And finally, before we head on over to the script, make a new empty object, not an empty parent, inside our player and rename it ground check. This is very important, but I'll talk about it later. And also make sure for the ground check to reposition it to be slightly below the player. With all this being done, we can get started with our script. So add a component, write movement, and then create a new c -sharp script. Since I already have the script, I'll just open it up and show you guys what it looks like. So this is our script. It's 87 lines, but no worries, I'll break it down for you guys in the edits. And if you don't want to hear me ramble on, that's okay, I'll put a timestamp on the screen about now for you to skip ahead. Now that we're finished with our script, we can finish setting everything up. So like I said, we're going to have to reference the ground check inside our script. So for the actual script, since it's inside the player, set some values. Of course, all of these values are highly customizable and you can change it to your liking, but these are the values that I found work best for me and should work best for you. For, for the player camera, main camera, choose the main camera of course. For mouse smooth time, 0 0.02, cursor lock, true, mouse sensitivity, 2.8 speed 9, move smooth time to 0.125, and gravity to negative 30, and of course the jump height to 6. Now here are the important parts. For the ground check that I told you to create right before we headed on over to the script, we just reference it by clicking here or dragging and dropping it into its box here. And for the ground layer, we have to create a brand new layer for all the objects we want the player to jump on. Since I want the player to be able to jump on the obstacles and the ground, just head on over to the layer of all these objects once you've selected all of them and add a brand new layer and call it ground. And of course, reference this new layer that you just created in the script. Now that we've finished all this, we can test everything out to see if it actually works. And there you have it, a working first person movement system in Unity. You can jump, run, and even go on ramps. Hopefully you enjoyed the video or it helped you out. And if this is the case, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It's free and helps out a ton. With all this being said, have a great day and best of luck on your game dev journey.